show you. Oh. <laughs> Hi peeps, my name is Zena and I'm aging ethically. The other day when I was in Target, I noticed that Elf has a brand new collection out for the summer. I love Elf products because they're vegan and cruelty free and they're very affordable. So the collection is called Retro Paradise and I had to have at least one item uh, but I just I limited myself to two and used a little self-control. Uh, so obviously I had to get the palette to add to my collection but I have been eyeballing these like glow body oils ever since I think Fenty Beauty came out with like the first one. I could be wrong about that. Being that Elf has one, I had to go ahead and purchase it. And then the palette, this is the Retro Paradise palette. The thing with Elf products, they are uh, in plastic most of the time. So that is my one critique of Elf is that uh, the the packaging, I wish it was cardboard. I wish it was biodegradable. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about it being recyclable. So I think this is just, unfortunately, single-use plastic, which uh, I'm not happy about. But I am happy about the shade range in this palette for $14. Now, e.l.f. palettes, for me personally, have been kind of hit or miss. Like, sometimes the pigmentation is there, and then other times it's not. Well... Being that I've played with this palette, I've created this look with this palette. So I'll give you an idea of the pigmentation. I've swatched it. You can see that I've dipped into the pans. I've obviously done this eye uh, with some of the shades. So I have Tropicana, which is that purple shade. I have it right on the inner corner. I have Royal on the outer corner. I love this shade, Spiced. It's almost like a terracotta really sort of retro vibe. I love it so much. And I knew I was going to use that as the focal point. So that's on the inner and outer corner of my upper lid. And then in the center, I have Rise and Shine. Is this like triangular sort of a shimmery look. And then I dotted a little bit of this Paraiso uh, right on top of that to kind of make it pop. And uh, then I did just a little simple wing and then I put a little adhesive. Oh, and then the inner, inner corner of my eye is Sea Salt and I used that one on my brow as well. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys, and as I said before, sometimes e.l.f. palettes really blow me away, and then other times it's like wah, wah. This palette is a combination of both of those feels. <laughs> All of these shimmer shades, Disco, Sip Sip, Rise and Shine, Sea Salt, Fortuna, Pariso, they are solid, they are strong, they're creamy, um, they really, they look amazing. Look at that, you know, and they just, I'm going to show you the swatches too, uh, that I did outside. So these shimmer shades are amazing. However, the matte shades are a little lackluster. They are, as they say, buildable. So, <laughs> um, Let's just go with Spice, for instance, because I did play with this quite a bit, obviously. Um, it seems okay with Swatch, but as you can see, like, see how it's kind of like splotchy? Um, if you rub it enough, it almost completely like fades away. That drives me crazy in a palette. So what you need to do to uh, work around that is just put a primer on first, some kind of eyeshadow primer. And if you've purchased this palette, you can salvage it. And it's actually very nice. And as you can see, it's uh, quite lovely. What uh, primer did I use? I used this e.l.f. Jelly Pop. And I have some on this lid. In fact, I think I'm gonna dab a little bit more because I put this on about a half hour ago. And it really helps the matte shades stick to your lid. This primer, by the way, this e.l.f. Jelly 
Pop Primer is the stickiest primer I have ever used. Now, I live in Phoenix. I live in Arizona, and it is hot. Right now, it is hot, hot. <laughs> it is oppressively hot outside. It's over almost 110 degrees on most days. So you need, I need, a sticky primer to put underneath my makeup. For the most part, I'm not really wearing any foundation right now uh, <laughs> because it's just too hot and it's just too aggravating to feel like that heat, even though it's a dry heat, just to have like a layer of makeup and then uh, and then sunscreen and then makeup and then it's just, it's too heavy, it's too much. You feel like your, your face is suffocating. So I'm really not wearing makeup too often these days, but when I do, I use this first and it is amazing. It's inexpensive. This is amazing. I hope they never stop, Elf, never stop making this primer. I love it so, so, so much. This saves my makeup in the summer, love it. Now that I have reprimed my eyelid, it's nice and like sticky. I love that primer. Oh, it's so good. I can't say enough about it. I'm going to go ahead and try to recreate this look on this eye. Now, you're going to hear my air conditioner. I am so sorry. I had a microphone. You know, in my last video, I didn't like the way the microphone sounded. It was like really like um, crinkly and you could hear my, my shirt moving and it was just weird. So I'm sitting a little closer <laughs> to my microphone and my camera. So I'm hoping that you really can't hear the air conditioner. I have to have it on guys or I will die. It is so hot. All right, so I'm starting out with Sandy Bum. This is one of the matte shades, you guys though. You know, all of the matte shades are all kind of the same. They're a little bit chalky and they're very buildable, but as you can see, they, they do the job. So I, I am pleased. As long as you are primed, you will be pleased with this palette. If you want just like a really light summer wash of color, then this palette might be fine for you without any primer. If you like to have a high pigmented payoff, I would definitely do the primer. I'm gonna stop saying primer. I'm just dabbing that on because my eyelid is very sticky right now. I'm trying to get the most payoff from this palette. Now, normally my blending skills are a little bit better, <laughs> but this is a very tacky surface that I'm working with here. What do you guys think of my earthy background? I figured a little earthy toned palette and a little earthy background for you guys. I love this background. I love my woodland settings. I hope you guys do too. <laughs> and you don't think it's weird, but it makes me feel like I'm in the woods with like the fairies and the gnomes and the unicorns. And it just makes me, it makes my soul happy <laughs> to be in a woodland setting. This is the reason why I purchased the palette. This terracotta spiced color is so pretty it's like a brick sort of red and I, it just i was instantly drawn to it when i saw this palette on the shelf i really felt the need to do a little retail therapy i purchased some other products online that i'm going to do video for too really soon some new things that i'm trying going right next door with Rise and Shine. I'm gonna go right in the center and branch out and do like a sort of a triangular shape, if you will. Like I could just do this shimmer, this shade on my lid with a little wing liner and some mascara and feel very pretty and sophisticated. Now for the lower portion. <laughs> I'm going to take Royal. Love the earthy, deep richness and the shades. I love the color story of this. I really, really wish the mattes were formulated a little differently, but you know what, guys? You can't win them all. And then the Purple Tropicana. Blend that right into Royal. Cute. So as you can see, it's not like, like a huge pop of purple, but it's there, it is there. I did not put any primer under my eyes, so this is the matte shades performing as they are meant to, I guess. In this collection, they had some liquid shadows. 
I think they were lip liners. There were some lip glosses. I have one of, I have a few of these actually. Some of these e.l.f. liquid shadows. They perform so well. I didn't buy them because I already had a similar sort of product in my possession, but I love their liquid shadows. They're so pretty. And if we were outside, you could see just how sparkly they are. And if you thin them out and just kind of tap it on your lid, it's just, it just adds a magnificent sort of a sparkle to your look. And I, I love these so much. There are some really fun products in this retro paradise collection. I do encourage you to go to Target and check it out or to go online to um, the e.l.f. website as well. So that's it for the shadow. Oh no, no, I always, I'm forgetting my highlight again. <laughs> okay, I'm going to spray a little bit of setting spray on this brush and kind of get it a little quick. Now I'm dipping into sea salt. Now, I don't know if you could see, I don't know if you could see, but sea salt <laughs> is kind of chunky and there's like a, a, an indentation, like a depression right there. It's very kind of softly packed into this pan. So you have to be careful. I almost destroyed it when I used it yesterday because I'd sort of dipped in somewhat aggressively. <laughs> it started to like come out. I'm like, no. That's happened with me in another e.l.f. palette before too. So just be careful with some of their shimmer shades. Uh, that can happen. So I'm just tapping this in the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm going to, I don't know, I'm holding the palette so awkwardly. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a long time. So forgive me if I, I seem like a little hesitant or awkward. I haven't really been in a makeup frame of mind. I'm sure you guys can relate to that, but I'm starting to get back into it again and, and it feels good. Put some up here, I'm gonna accentuate my brow bone. See how it's like, I don't know if you saw that little piece is coming off the brush. So it's very chalky. Right? And then I forgot also to dab some of this Paraiso. It's hard to, put into words the shimmer effect that's happening there. It's almost like there's there's a rose gold sort of micro glitters. And that's what it looks like on it. It looks gold there as well, but it's like a rose gold gold. It's hard to describe. Dab that right on top. Give it a little extra pop. Yeah. I have this little lash. It's an Ardell lash that I snipped in half and I'm gonna put it on the outer corner of my eye. It's a little trick that I've been doing now for about a year. I learned about a year ago that it was Marilyn Monroe's makeup artist's uh, claim to fame. That was his little trick that he would do. He would just apply lashes to the outer portion of Marilyn Monroe's eyes and we all know how gorgeous that looked. Next, I'm going to attach my little adornment of gems that I decided to use today. <laughs> all right, and that is the eye look that I have created with the e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette. Next, very excited for this. This is the Glow Up Body Oil from the Retro Paradise collection. And I'm going to cut to a little video that I did of this product outside in the sunlight so you can see the full glory of the sparkliness that is this product. It is delightful, guys. They did have a brush that you could purchase as well. I did not buy the brush, but it was one of those like thin, wide brushes and you can use it to apply to your entire body. This would be great to use at the pool. This would be, I don't know about at the beach. It wasn't tacky. So one thing I wanna say about this product, it wasn't sticky and it wasn't oily. Once you put it on your skin, it absorbed and it left 
like uh, you could definitely tell that your skin was hydrated, although it wasn't like super tacky and sticky. Um, I still think that sand might stick to this product. So, but anyway, if you're going to uh, a pool, this would be absolutely delightful on your skin. They did have two different shades. There's this one, which is sun-kissed, and then there was a more bronzy one as well. This product does have a scent to it. It's almost like grapefruit, but it's very fruity and citrusy. And I'm going to show you Oh. <laughs> it just shot right across onto my TV stand. But all right, I think there's enough on there. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the skin because I want to put some on like my shoulders. So indoors, this is kind of what it looks like. It was like a little, yeah, a little sexy, gives you like a healthy skin look. It looks like your skin is like moisturized and healthy. I love that. All right, let me get some more since I just shot it across the room. All right, ooh, it's like, it's like glittery lava. Maybe on my clavicle. Get some right here on this shoulder. Ooh, I love it. See, like I can smell the grapefruit now, but it won't last. I put this on yesterday. The, the glitter effect and the little glitter specks and particles stays on your skin until you wash it off. So when I, I put this on last night before I went to bed, when I woke up in the morning, I can still see the little baby glitter on my skin as if I had just put it on. So it has a, a very lasting effect. I'm gonna slap on a little NYX Pump It Up Lip Plumper because I just realized I don't have any lipstick on. <laughs> so this is my official review of the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Collection. I know I only bought two items, but I think I picked the best ones in my opinion. I love this this body oil, this is just magnificent. I've been dying to buy one ever since I saw the Fenty Beauty one. And so now I finally have one. You guys just know that I'm going to be looking like a glazed donut all summer with this product right here. I love, love, love this. And as for the palette, I do enjoy it. I wish the mattes would perform a little bit better, but the shimmers are spot on. I love this color story. I love the retro theme. I love how earthy it is. I'm really, really happy that I bought both of these products. Do check out Elf's website. Go to Target, go to Ulta, and check out this collection for yourself. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. My Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter are all aging underscore ethically. You guys, thank you so much for coming on this summer solstice beauty review journey of e.l.f. products with me. It was my absolute pleasure. Take care of yourselves, stay healthy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>